Hey, it's Chris from Baja Scooted, and uh, for today's video, it's for everyone to enjoy, but it's mainly just for um, the Milwaukee users, and this is why. So pretty much anything Milwaukee related is a Tufts product, and um, this is coming from someone that's a carpenter, so I use all types of tools, not only a Milwaukee brand. So with that being said, um, going back to the product review, which is this top off. This is great for anyone that's trying to get just like the basics, doesn't really need anything that's really strong. Uh, this gives 175 watts, it has this one um, alternate current outlet, it has this regular USB-A, and then it has for the newer ones the USB-C port. And uh, so how you use it is uh, the lights off and it's connected but there's no power going through so as soon as you click that the fan turns on and it, it starts to charge whatever product you're charging and then for the AC it does that as well since it's a little bit more power the, the fan goes on a little bit more stronger but then it turns off since there's no uh, juice going through there click it back power uh, the light turns off and that's just to indicate that there's no um, power going through it like I said this is pretty much like an entry-level uh, power station what I like it is that it's small and then it has this little clip so you can hang it wherever you want. If you want to put it on the chair or I don't know, wherever you can uh, just put it there. These battery cases are tough. I've dropped them from pretty high and they've, uh, they've held up. I've had this for five years now and it's uh, still going strong. Pretty much what you could use this for is just charge your cell phone, your camera, your drones. Um, your GoPro, pretty much like small accessories that you need for on the go. So I want to say like uh, two, three months ago, the power went out, and so I I put a put an extension on here, and I put a three-way, and I hooked up my TV. It's a 55-inch. I hooked up my Nintendo Switch, and I hooked up the modem, so that way I can get internet. And I was playing online with one of these batteries for an hour but keep in mind I had uh, three things going on there and uh, oh yeah I also had my wife's sister's laptop charging at the same time so it lasted for an hour and this is 162 uh, watt hours so Home Depot pricing this combo comes out to be uh, $300 and um, compared to like your normal power station if you get one that's around $300 you're looking at getting 200 versus 162 kilowatt hours. That's like a total of 38 uh, watt hours that you're getting less for the same price. Um, what I like about this is that they're small and um, it's easy as if you have more of these batteries, you do that, you plug your next one in and you're good to go. And then your other one, you can just charge it wherever you're at. Because I'm a carpenter, I need these for work anyways. So that's why I got this. If you're on the market for one and you don't have these, honestly, uh, what you have to do is just uh, make a balance of pros and cons. So the way I look at this is that this battery, uh, it has a warranty for five years versus like um, another power station. You'd get like two, three years from them. So I know that for sure, these $200 that I invested in just the battery is gonna be like for sure warranted for for five years versus another one so i mean if this one breaks in two years you know you send it in they'll uh, either fix it or give you another one and then the the portable power bank let's say um it breaks in two years and your warranty's out then you got to buy another one so now you know you're six hundred dollars in versus this one that you know you're uh just the battery is two hundred dollars pays for itself another thing that i can say uh that would be good to consider is if you're gonna have tools. Part of the tools that I have is an LED floodlight, I have a fan, I have my um, impact wrench, my impact drivers, I have you know all these tools that I can hook up to just this battery if I need to. And there are definitely pros and cons versus going for this even though it has uh, potentially less juice than you know the conventional you know little uh, power station but it is more versatile. If you ask me, uh, this is more bang for the buck because it is more versatile. And I'm just gonna end this with, this is a great product. This is Chris from Baja Escurid. If you have any questions, comments, or 
whatever, just drop by a, a, a comment and um, help out the channel with a subscribe.